is the value of the expression 6 squared minus open parenthesis 20 divided by 5 times 2 close parenthesis then divided by 2 squared. Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? 98% of people get to read and choose the wrong answer. Let's break it down and solve it together. At the beginning, many people go straight to the expression inside the parentheses because they believe parentheses have the highest priority than the other operations. And they immediately perform the multiplication between 5 and 2 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplified this expression and write it as 6 squared minus 20 divided by 10 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. And the next step, they move on to the division between 20 and 10 and replace this expression with 6 squared minus 2 divided by 2 squared. Then, they go to the exponents and simplify this expression to 36 minus 2 divided by 4. And the final step, they go for the division between 2 and 4 because they believe division has a higher priority than subtraction. So, they rewrite this expression at 36 minus 0 0.5, which finally gives them the answer 35.5. Then, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Also, some other people when solving this question, first go straight to the expression 6 squared and simplify to 36 minus 20 divided by 5 times 2 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. And the next step, they focus on the expression inside the parentheses and start with the division between 20 and 5. So, they simplify this expression to 36 minus 4 times 2 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. Then, they perform the multiplication between 4 and 2 inside the parentheses and write this expression as 36 minus 8 divided by 2 squared. Next, they do the subtraction between 36 and 8 and simplify this expression to 28 divided by 2 squared. And the final step, they handle the exponent and write this expression as 28 divided by 4, which ultimately gives them the answer 7. And they conclude that option A is the correct answer to this question. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. All right, now let me show you how to solve this expression correctly. To solve this question, we must follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. It means that we need to perform all the operations step by step in order from top to bottom. Alright, as you can see on the screen, in this expression, first we have an exponent, then a subtraction sign, followed by parentheses, then a division sign, and finally another exponent. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we should start with the parentheses, because parentheses have the highest priority over all other operations. And inside the parentheses, First we have a division sign and then a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, we must start from the left and move toward the right, performing these two operations in order. So, first we do the division between 20 and 5, and this expression simplifies to 6 squared minus 4 times 2 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. And the next step, we handle the multiplication between 4 and 2. And this expression simplifies to 6 squared minus 8 divided by 2 squared. Next, it's time to handle the exponents. Because according to the PEMDAS rule, after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, we can rewrite this expression as 36 minus 8 divided by 4. And the final step, we perform the division between 8 and 4 because division has a higher priority than subtraction. So, this expression simplifies to 36 minus 2, which finally gives us the answer 34. That's great. Option B is the correct answer to this question.